about time. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, after Rather You Than Me came out, Lil Wayne and Rick Ross have had somewhat of a love fest with each other. And Lil Wayne is still addressing some issues with his label. And, of course, with Birdman at South by Southwest, here's what Lil Wayne had to say during his performance. Yeah, I know y'all do know I am going through some bullshit with my motherfucking career. And this shit is trying to steer my career without letting me do or say a damn thing. But it's moments like this that make that bullshit. Is big to me. I appreciate it. If you think that I am stressing or letting this shit get to me, please remember there's too much good and too many great motherfucking lawyer fans to worry about bullshit ass bird man. There's no way in hell Birdman got the money to pay Lil Wayne. Because if Birdman no, had the no. money, he would have rectified that situation a long time ago. I came to that conclusion last that night. Money's I'm like, gone. Birdman does not have the money to pay Lil Wayne. That money's gone. Because there's no way you're taking all of this slander for years on purpose. But he could pay him in increments, though. Or they could you come up I mean? with some type of situation where, okay, this next album, when you put it out, we'll put it out, and you get all the... Nah. He could figure out a way, even if he doesn't have the cash on hand. The way they're going to do five, six million like he did before, he got to pay him in increments, like a couple here, a couple there. But, but it was but, streaming but, and everything but, but, and all kinds of deals, like how Chance the Rapper did the deal with y'all, Apple. Y'all talking about what he's supposed to get. What about the brother Lil Wayne? What about what he's owed? That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, we're talking old, about figuring out ways stuff. to pay back that old money. She's saying give By stuff, giving him give a better deal now. for whatever he has coming out. I mean, if Birdman's smart, he just gives Wayne the rights to all his next couple albums. Here. Yeah, just give him I that and that will rectify. You enough. <laughs> I raped you enough and went broke doing it or whatever. So here, you and go. And now it might also be an ego thing too. Uh, who knows? No, we ain't better All I know money. is, if you're a new artist, why would you ever sign the Birdman when he does not histor- when he historically does not pay his artists. All right, Tom Brady. In the meantime, they have recovered the stolen Super Bowl jerseys. It was actually found in possession of an international media member. Uh, that man worked for the Mexican editorial organization. His name is Martin Mauricio Ortega. He was a director of one of its new p- newspapers, <coughs> Diario La Prensa. He just resigned last Tuesday. So they found the jersey in Mexico. Yes, the jersey was found in Mexico. Oh, Donald, they are uh, currently Tom Brady's friend definitely about to build the wall now. Authenticating the jerseys. In addition to that, they did find a Von Miller helmet from mm-hmm. Super Bowl 50. And the sources are trying to make sure that they authenticate that as well. So they said they did have video footage showing Ortega entering the locker room. Mm-hmm. What the problem is, they had to go through everybody's credentials. That was about 20,000 credentials they had to go through before they finally settled on Ortega as a person of interest. How did they find it? How did they find it? Yeah, he was. I'm sure he wasn't wearing it on the way out. No, he actually went into the locker room. They saw the video footage of him with his back to the camera putting the jersey into a black plastic uh, bag. Let me tell you so something. they had to go through credentials of everybody to find out who had access, who is it, and that's how they found mm. out he was a person of interest. And then they did go, go to Mexico and recover the jerseys, amongst other things. Now, here's the other issue. That guy, if he sold anything to anybody else, anybody might have bought in some stolen sports memorabilia from him. They have to return that or they could be prosecuted as well. So imagine you're minding your business, oh. buying something that you nope. think is some memorabilia from some past sporting event and turns out it was a stolen good and That's you get foul. in trouble. That's Whatever foul. Donald Trump has ever told Tom Brady about Mexicans, Tom Brady absolutely believes at this moment. And you know this happened to Nicolas Cage before. Remember, he bought a dinosaur bone, right? A dinosaur skull. He bought it for $276,000. Turns out it was stolen. He just had to take the loss and return it. You just lose two hundred seventy thousand. That was his dumb ass. He bought it thinking it was legit. Nigga, why the hell would you buy a dinosaur skull? <laughs> That's rich people problem. What you gonna do with a dinosaur skull? I got a dinosaur skull in my house, hanging in my. What if uh, I didn't believe dinosaurs ever existed? Well, therefore you just got some bones. Well, that's a chicken. I know a chicken when I see one. <laughs> that's not a chicken. That's man. a chicken, bro. That's, that's a, a chicken, chicken, man. That's a dog. That chicken looked pretty big. That's that was dog, on Instagram, man. though. But that wasn't a chicken. Lord have mercy. Did you see that chicken <laughs> yeah, on Instagram? I see that chicken, man. Man, I swear to God, I saw that chicken, and that thing made me almost want to start being a vegetarian. Mm-hmm. All I, right, now listen. Can, can we move on with the rumors, okay? I wish I could show y'all this chicken we talking about. <laughs> did, you, did you see the chicken? What? No. That chicken oh, was bigger. You, no, as a matter of fact, it was bigger than you. It was you. bigger than you, ye. That chicken was about six feet Don't tall lie. and about two hundred and fifty pounds. And there was a few of them. He hopped out doing the duck. He Whatever so GMOs y'all loading these chickens up with, stop. Yes, that, that's that was not crazy. natural and that's scary. That was a huge chicken. That tastes good, fried. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Rich the Kid, he was escorted off the plane, and that is because he was playing his music from his cell phone. Out loud, no headphones on the plane. So apparently they asked him to turn down, turn it off. The volume was too high. A flight attendant said, come on, turn it down. He refused, and that's when they called the cops to handle the situation. Here's Rich the Kid. Rusty ass called the police for, for playing music. She rusty. She dirty. Look at her. She was hating on me. You know what I'm saying? I got who does he think he is that he can just play music loud on the plane? Like, why don't you show some respect for the other passengers? Don't nobody want to hear all that? That's like people who be watching movies on their laptop or whatever and don't Super you loud. have to yeah, use your headphones. headphones on. That's the reason you have headphones on the plane. Like the headphones, the plane is like a, a, a private space almost. Like, right. Relax. What's wrong with you, bro? Who do you think you are? Well, he got escorted off the plane, and he says the flight attendant is dusty. Okay. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey. The Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.